is the day before I start the 90 day thyroid cleanse healing um, by medical medium and I'm gonna try it um, I've tried so many things and it sounds good it sounds optimistic and I'm trying not to doubt it and be skeptical because it sounds too good to be true but we'll just see what it does it's all good and healthy things it's all completely moderate and natural so I don't see how it can hurt anything so the first step to healing miracle calling down faith is a desire to believe and I definitely have that desire so help thou my unbelief I'm going for it and I'm hoping it will fix a myriad of decades and decades of illness and autoimmune disorders and allergies and pain and aches and all sorts of crazy stuff that I've been dealing with my poor sister I sneeze so loud and violently and like constantly and I get this itchy nose itchy everything and um, she gets so mad when I do that. It's like she gets that fight or flight response, you know. But if I don't let it out like that, then it hurts. I feel like I pull a muscle in my groin or throw my back out or it's just weird. It's just crazy. It's like broken blood vessels. I post nasal drip that has made permanent caverns in the back of my throat, completely lowered my octave and my singing and affected all sorts of things. I'm tired all the time. I'm in pain all the time. Um, and I've just kind of pushed through, you know, I was diagnosed with, you know, chronic fatigue, with fibromyalgia, with um, what I see as something rather, um, what else, all sorts of little thingies. Oh, I had shingles. Um, uh, they're always testing my thyroid because I seem to have issues for that. I have the like ridges on my nails and the dry skin and the, you know, peeling heels and, you know, all this, all this stuff. But. I'm alive and I've been able to do a remarkable amount of service in the community and um, with the youth group at church and hiking and camping and I've got seven children and two grandchildren and you know so despite my challenges and opposition I have been very blessed very blessed I know people who just can't even get out of bed and I've felt that way but you have a hungry baby crying there's just Nothing a mom can do but just drag themselves out on their elbows sometimes. I know, um, you know, when the kids were really young, I would just have to res reserve my energy. So instead of picking up the same toy 150 times a day, I would kick it in a corner. So I would have to bend over and hurt my back. And five minutes before daddy comes home, then I bend down, I pick it up, and we do something called white tornado. That's a famous thing my kids all know. It's like, okay, white tornado, that means. You know, we turn on some music and really quick, we just do a quick clean up. Um, my dad taught me that. It was <laughs> when we were we lived in a cul-de-sac. And so whenever he'd see mom's car pass by, he'd say, white tornado. And so by the time she turned around the cul-de-sac, came out of the car, you know, the house was clean. So uh, fun tradition. I'm totally laughing. I'm doing this unfiltered on purpose, just so you can see, just swollen and puffy and just, you know, mio natural, but you know, I'm happy and um, like I said I've been really blessed um, some of the other things I forgot of as I was doing this is um, brain fog and as I'm looking and I'm speaking in a sentence I feel I'm um, I'm a pretty smart girl you know I've always tested high in state testing and I'm pretty you know I figure things out quickly I'm always constantly learning and reading and you know whatever my passion is which has in the last couple decades been alternative healing and health and you know Reiki master and things like that um, but you can see sometimes when I stall I'm trying to think of a word because I have this brain fog that is so bad that I lose my vocabulary I literally cannot remember the word I'm trying to say and so I'm searching around I'll try to find a word that maybe fits maybe it wasn't the one I was looking for but um, I actually went to the doctor and they did some memory tests because I did about a year ago have a concussion of you know metal king-size bed frame came down on the top of my head <laughs> I had leaned it against the wall I was redoing the bedroom for my 20 year old and um, shoved a box up against it as it was leaning on the wall and so it just came down like a guillotine so kind of rocked my world for a minute and I've not quite recovered from that so I didn't know if the memory thing was that because it is getting worse but as I was listening to the medical medium book it just seems like this is part of the same thing and as I get older and as I've been pushing through and surviving um, it's getting into the next stage of things and one of the is the fogginess and the memory and the you know that kind of issue so I went into Kaiser and I had them do a series of memory tests just to kind of get a um, 
what's it called at the beginning like a baseline baseline <laughs> and then I guess you go in and see if you're getting better or worse or something like that so I am curious to see that but like I said I feel like I'm pretty smart so even with half of my brain tied behind my back I was still doing pretty well on those tests and um, you know I can kind of compensate so nobody really knows the amount of struggle um, intellectually physically emotionally you know I can kind of compensate pretty well for um, these kind of struggles I've been having um, the other thing is circulation uh, my ankles and my calves have been swelling up and um, I get these varicose veins and like they'll burst sometimes like I'll just get this explosion get a big old bruise and um, so that usually points to thyroid too but every time I get my thyroid check it says oh you're fine you're within limits but then I have a lot of ants and people on my mom's side that have Hashimoto's and blah 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 and all that kind of thing so this kind of goes along with what he talks about in his book Anthony does um, so I'm giving it a shot it's totally um, some of the things he says is kind of counterintuitive and I'm like yikes that doesn't make sense and like you know but like I said I'm I'm here to do it and I will bring you along on the journey and I'll give you um, kind of feedback on what symptoms are better or worse I'm sure it will get a little worse as I detox and as I'm killing the virus um, but I do know I have a virus um, when uh, let's see so probably 20 years ago 20 years ago I had an alternative doctor staying at my home a friend of mine said will you please let him stay at your house and at this time my daughter who's often married and everything was just uh, a little girl and so he went through each of the family members and was saying oh this is your initial trauma this is what's with you la la and he told me you have a virus in your body and I thought Mm, that makes sense because I always feel like my immune system is being drained constantly like I'm always fighting something off like I'm about to get something but you know if I get some good rest or take a bunch of vitamin C you know or lysine I can kind of like just squeak by but I feel like I'm always fighting something and even in school if I ever wanted to come home early from school I just go to the nurse when they used to have nurses at school and they take my temperature and I always had a fever it was a low grade fever but it was constant so instead of having 98.6 I always had 99.9 you know that was just my regular body temp um, so it seemed like my immune system was kind of getting worn down and always kind of running um, so that made sense to me that rang true um, also um, did some acupuncture acupressure they told me I had weak spleen tea you know which kind of makes sense with all this other stuff that's going on and I've done a lot of release and a lot of clearing with um, body code emotion code NAET trying to figure out my allergies um, and like I said the Reiki master energy healing treatments a lot of blessings and prayers and fasting and praying and eating healthy and master detox and snake detox and you know lots and lots of paleo low carb Atkins you know 30 day keto blah 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 so uh, which he says is just horrible, you know, all the animal proteins and the stuff like that. But that's kind of what worked for me. I would have less fogginess. So whatever I wasn't eating, which was probably the wheat and the corn, um, I could think better and I'd feel better on snake, which is pretty much eating nothing, but just getting some minerals. Um, and, or if I did these other like uh, high protein ones with the fats, I felt great. But then again, I have O blood, you know, that's caveman blood. My husband has A blood, that's vegetarian type blood. And, you know, before we even read that whole blood type book, it seemed to ring true because he can do juice fast and he just felt awesome. And I'd do it and I'd feel super weak and lightheaded. Um, whereas if I had him try to do a, like a low carb detox with me, he would just feel like physically ill and he couldn't do it. Whereas I just felt charged. And so there's something to that. Not every body type is the same. Um, so I'm a little leery about that. For that reason, this sounds like it was totally slanted towards an A type, um, blood type. Um, but hey, what the heck? I've tried so many things. It would be really foolish not to try this thing because with each thing, I really felt like I have been led by spirit to try something new or see a book or talk to a person. I have been led along my way, um, my path to healing. It's been a lot longer than I would have hoped, but I have learned so much and I've come across such beautiful people um, that, you know, there's really no regrets. So life is about experience. It's not a pleasure cruise. It's about experience. It's about learning. It's about growth and progress. So 
here we go on my next step. My Dragon Balm is kind of like Tiger Balm but with little CBD or I've tried all CBD and every sort of supplement and everything you can imagine. Anyways, another thing I just remembered too, I'm trying to get it all out here. Um, hmm, what was it? Mm, what was I gonna say? Swelling, the pain, inflammation, super tight. IT bands are like crazy tight. The physical therapist, when they try to work them out, it, you just, and sometimes the pain in your bones, or if something is in the same position too long and you try to move it, it just feels like it's broken. <laughs> like crazy nerve pain. Um, let's see. Oh, this is what I was going to say. So usually before, you know, I had seven kids, like, and I always get back in shape afterwards, get back in shape, be strong, go exercise, do whatever. And I had done kickboxing with my daughter who was going back to college. I went back to school with her and did kickboxing and tennis and did some aerial silks with my other daughter, which takes a lot of, you know, holding your weight up and um, feeling really strong. And then after they were kind of stabilized and doing okay, then I took the year off and I was helping with the Cub Scout program, some other things. I'm like, oh, work out at home, you know, and then I lost my strength so fast. And then after the concussion and some other things, um, the virus going into the new stage or whatnot, um, every time I tried to do my detox or, you know, you get past that, that weight that you're like, uh oh, now it's time to do a detox, um, the things that worked before just stopped working. And you know, they say, oh, at a certain age that happens, or you know, your metabolism, or if you're starting to go through the change or whatever. Um, so it was super frustrating to me to be able to work really hard and do things and nothing was happening. And then beyond that, all of a sudden, my impulse control was like ridiculous. So um, before I could like, you know, do a detox or just take out sugar or do snake or whatever, and I'd feel great and it would work and it'd be awesome, that's all I needed. All of a sudden now I couldn't get through a full day of eating clean. Like I would just like be like, ooh, that doesn't even look good. I don't want it. And I find myself like eating it and like not just one. And I'm like, what is going on with me? So that's another thing. A little nervous about starting this 90 day thing because I've had a hard time with willpower and sticking on things. And I don't know if that's one of the symptoms, but I've gained a ton of weight. And um, some of it uh, probably psychological, emotional, whatever, and physical. But that's one of the things they addressed in the thyroid book is they talked about the weight gain and with the autoimmune disorders and the chronic illnesses and how people want to attribute it to age or whatnot, uh, metabolism, whatnot, but that it could be part of the virus. So I am hoping, again, hope against hope. And like I said, I've been trying to be spirit led. Every time I ask for a blessing or something, the counsel that I'm given is you're on the right path. You have things to learn. Just keep your mind open and you will be, you know, things will be put in your path. You're going to meet people and learn things that you need to know. So hopefully this is the chapter where the thing that I found is going to be one of the last things I need to find. <laughs> so, but that is going to be hard for me because <clears throat> even tonight where I'm like, ooh, tomorrow I'm going to start my detox and I ate some bread tonight. Like what the heck is wrong with me? I'm gonna need a lot of help. I'm gonna need a lot of help for this 90 days. Luckily, my partner is super awesome. Um, so he saw me eating the bread tonight, and he's like, "Hey, what's your regimen thing like? Like, I want to help you. I want to support you. You know." So I'm like, "Ugh." Um, so I'm like, "Okay, if you can make my celery juice in the morning, like that is the main thing. If I could just start the day clean like that and get those nutrients in there, then I'm hoping that I can stabilize and I can make it a little further." But you know what? Every day is a fresh new day filled with endless possibilities. And so no matter how many day ones I get, I'm gonna make it to day 90. So anyways, here's to hoping that uh, this medical medium thing will have some good positive effects. I've tried, like I said, everything, every kind of detox and cleanse and um, alternative healing and energy work, um, which has been all good things. I think they've all got me closer to just mindfulness and releasing emotions and traumas and being just more of a mindful um, participator in life and in people and in myself, my thoughts, my feelings, my body, um, trying to listen and respect that, trying to put things in balance. That's my whole thing is whole and balanced, you know, trying to um, I juggle so much and I burn the candle at both ends and so trying to respect myself and stand in my power speak my truth with love and so here we go I'm starting this and I will document how it goes